All right. Uh, while your name might not be Kandinsky or Pollock, with the proper lesson, you might have what it takes to make some gift-worthy abstract art. <clears throat> yeah. Which is what I'm going to attempt right now under the guidance of a professional. Joining us now is Robin Slanina. Robin, I even put on gloves. It's, this is nothing to do with being safe or socially distanced. It's because <laughs> I know what's going to happen with paint and me. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Now, behind me, I see some really nice ornaments. Um, I cannot say that I have anything to do with those. But maybe you can help. Yes, absolutely. So those are canvases that you see behind you using a technique called acrylic pour painting. And the beauty of this is that anybody can do it and end up with an awesome result. So we are going to get started right away. You have your little canvas, right? Yes, I do. And you have your clear cup of white paint? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be your base. You usually start with white with acrylic pour. And I'm going to have you start pouring all of those other cups of paint into your white cup. Oh, into the white cup. Yeah, so oh, I'll okay. be doing the same, but I'm going to be doing it with my little squeeze bottles. Okay. Just dump so I... the whole thing in. With acrylic pour painting, you don't want to mix the paint. You just want it to sit next to each other. Okay. I'm not just mixing it. Don't mix them. Just dump them right in. All right. I got red. I already did the greens. Um, awesome. Got brown. Do we have the same colors? Yeah. Okay. I sent a little care package with your producer to have this socially distant art experience together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, our producer, she ran away to Venice. So she's, uh, it's, uh, I'm on my own now. Well, I, I just said, by the way, I said Venice because I feel it's a colorful city, like our, <laughs> like our artwork. Okay. Here it is. I think I got them all. Okay, so it's going to start looking like this, just like a big, fun mess of colors. Yep. And then this is when the fun starts because you are going to, are you ready? Yes. You're going to dump a puddle of it in the center of the canvas. Okay, a puddle of it in the center. And then you're going to start tilting it around and it's going to spill um, everywhere. Okay, how much of this cup do I put in the middle, would you say? Um, like I would say like maybe like three quarters worth like if you were stacking three quarters together also oh got do you it have your okay. down oh, cup? i just kind of went okay all right all right that's okay i slipped that's it's a okay. little bigger than i wanted down cup. that's good to put down first because that's where you're going to end up putting the canvas okay so now what you do know I... it's fine you can do it on the ground too okay so let's go for it okay we're putting a puddle about that big okay that's what i have kind of okay and then you just start tilting it Tilting it. You get all these fun swirls, and it's okay if it spills over the side. Mine is, okay, is yours like dominantly red? Yes, okay. mine is. So you know what, you can use another little bit of paint, or if you like, let's say you really want like a green. You can even take your green cup and just do a little bit more green okay. in one second well, let's do as that. well. I, I mean, I might have dumped it all. I don't know if I have any left, but, oh yeah, 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 here we go. Yeah, do a little, and then see, that's where I put the extra green. And okay. you know, the magic of this kind of painting is you never know what you're going to get. Now, it's are all you organic? It's always different. Is your is your um, paint falling off the edges? Yes, it okay. is supposed to. So that's okay to do. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So it's kind of I don't want to tilt it too much, but there's an example of what you end up with. Oh, geez. Okay, well, now what are these toothpicks for? <laughs> Those are going to be for our next project, which is the ornament that we're going to do, this wooden ornament. Oh, we're not done? Oh, geez. Yeah, we're doing two. I'm, you're going to make two beautiful works of art today. Okay. So I like to have baby wipes on hand because this is so messy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, okay, I'm good with that one, I guess. We're doing the ornament now? Okay, awesome. Yeah, let's do the ornament. All so right. same thing. So 30 seconds. we got to do it quick. Okay, pour okay. it again. Mix it around. Okay. Oops. No. Oh. And then. Mine was on a slant. That's okay. I blame nobody. I was going to blame I somebody. Have the toothpick because you want to kind of pop these little sections here so that you don't end up with paint inside of the holes where the ribbon's going to go. Oh, that's the only reason for the toothpicks? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be something real 
important. I mean, that's important. When you're, when you're done, I gave you a hook so you can make a hook on yours. Okay. At home, you guys can use ribbon. I just bought these, you know, blank ones online or at a craft store. You can put your kid's face on it. I have my child here with 2020. That's my kid, Leo. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, so you so do that afterwards. Okay. Yes, I have a a snowflake one that I splatter painted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be teaching these at Art to Art in Tivoli Village uh, this Saturday, December 5th. Oh, and okay. So I think I know some. People want to come and have a little more guidance and make their own Christmas ornaments. You can make five ornaments on your own at Tivoli Village this Saturday. Okay. And all the info's on my website. Robin I'm cheating a little bit. Oh. I kind of oh, cheated. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that actually worked out. I, but I want the whole, hold on. I got to cheat a little bit because we're out of time, but I want to do that. And so also take your finger and just kind of dab it in any empty oh, yeah. spots. Don't well, smear it, dab it. Like yeah. with the dabbing, there you go. That'll That's not bad. It, it kind of looks like the tie I wore today, but I'm not wearing it anymore. That looks awesome. All right. Anyway, well, okay, go do more stuff at Tivoli, Tivoli Village because we're out of time for, for our segment here. And uh, we appreciate it. Thanks, Robin. Those look beautiful. Good job, Jason. Thank you. See you later.